Welcome back in. Here's a look at conditions out there on uh, some of our four of our Kentucky Mesonet site cameras. We're ranging from 28 right now. Southeastern Kentucky, not as cold as what we're still uh, dealing with here across the bluegrass region in nor into northern Kentucky, but still temperatures uh, very cold below freezing for everyone. And once you factor in the wind, feels a lot colder than that. Uh, looking at those wind chill values still at four degrees it feels like temperature in both Flemingsburg and in Williamstown feels like seven in Frankfurt feels like eight here in Lexington though those temperatures are in the upper 20s across southern Kentucky it still feels like the upper teens and low 20s once you factor in that wind when speed when gusts right now still over 20 miles an hour so when the temperatures are as cold as they are and you have gusts upwards of 20 to 30 miles per hour obviously that makes it feel very cold out there and we'll keep these cold wind chills around through the daytime really doesn't get much better this afternoon still feeling like the mid teens as soon as that sun sets this evening it's going to get cold quickly especially considering the skies are clearing out out there right now Friday morning will start off with a wind chill into the single digits in a lot of places and a slightly warm up in the afternoon we will be back pushing the low to mid 20s. Uh, Viper radar right now is still dry out there across the region. Uh, skies are mainly clear as well. That's a little bit of a surprise, I think, because there's more of a northwesterly component to this wind as opposed to a straight northerly wind. So this moisture kind of coming off of Lake Michigan, you can follow the winds and those winds are providing some snow showers for southeast Ohio over into West Virginia and then Lake Erie. That northwesterly winds providing some snow showers for the Pittsburgh area and into the northern panhandle of West Virginia. So the winds are aligned to kind of keep us clearer today less of uh, moisture reaching us. But again, temperatures are going to stay cold all day long. We we're only going to peak around the mid 20s, so you're not going to move much temperature wise from where you're at right now as that cold air mass just sits in place. Tomorrow morning, mainly clear skies, lighter winds that will allow temperatures to drop. Um, we're going to fall into the mid teens for most of the area. And then for the afternoon, we may reach right around or just above freezing in many areas, but still very cold for this time of the year. Saturday morning is going to start off colder as well before we start to warm up a little bit into the low to mid 40s for the afternoon hours. Those gusts though today start to die off a little bit. We'll still have 10 to 20 mile an hour gusts this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, not very strong winds. Gusts a couple, around 10 miles an hour. So not too concerned about that strong wind tomorrow. It's just the actual temperature is going to be so cold. Any wind at all is going to be making it feel uh, very frigid out there. And then for the afternoon hours, we pick up a little bit of a northwesterly breeze. Temperature trend shows, though, we do start to warm up Sunday and into Monday of next week. Back actually above average. Just unfortunately, that's going to be accompanied by some rain that starts to move on in late Sunday into the day on Monday. Could see some heavy rain at times. It doesn't look like a complete washout. We should get a break, a bit of a break late Monday and then again into early Tuesday before another system uh, tracks through the area. This one will have some colder air pushing in on the back side of it by Wednesday. That will keep our temperatures in the 30s and we could get a little bit of a rain snow mix or some snow showers there Wednesday. It's a close call though, so of course you want to stay with us for more updates. A few flakes were possible earlier this morning, not like the case the rest of the day. Uncomfortable wind chills as uh, those winds are going to make it feel very cold tonight. Mostly clear falling into the teens and uh, wind chill values into the single digits. Looking at your full seven day forecast, Warming trend through Sunday into Monday. We will track that rain late Sunday into your Monday. Another system moves in Tuesday into Wednesday. That will draw in some colder air where we could see rain snow mix by Wednesday.